Thanksgiving, turkey, stuffing, mashed potato, Lions football, which I'm actually looking forward to this year and hopefully seeing a W for the base backers. But Thanksgiving doesn't have to be just one day. We found five restaurants that do a Thanksgiving dinner all month and some of them even year round. My name is Mike Pringle, local real estate agent here in Metro Detroit. I've been honored to help over 900 families just this year so far. Buy their next home or sell their current one. We get calls every day for people just like yourself and I would be honored to get the call to help you find your next home. We've got your back whether you're buying or selling. First up, I've got Cornwell's Turkey Billy USA. This is a homestyle haven located in Marshall, Michigan. All right, so Cornwell's Turkey Billy USA is more than just a restaurant. It's a slice of history baked into the heart of mid-Michigan. The Cornwell family transformed their turkey barbie into a one-room dining room, like their own dining room, back in 1968, which is now a full-blown destination complete with a dinner theater running over the last 30 years and an ice cream parlor. The menu is a panorama of turkey-based dishes, each with a story to tell. The turkey pot pie, which is served warm with a flaky and buttery crust enveloping tender turkey and veggies is akin to like like just getting a hug from your grandmother on a cold day like it really feels like that for the more adventurous the sloppy tom offers a really zesty turkey variation on the sloppy joe it's a little bit of kick to it a little bit of spice but try the turkey noodle dinner it's like turkey stovetop stuffers it's actually really good now their signature dish which is our masterpiece which is the cornwall's own secret recipe a turkey that is slow cooked to perfection with both white meat and dark meat that's juicy and tender with homemade gravy port all over it that has a flavor profile that has been developed over generations. This place has gotten so well known that they have a homemade meal pickup for Thanksgiving proper and they sell out fast. They only do a couple thousand meals. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot. Now the best time to order is at least a week in advance. Now uniquely, and for those with the sweet tooth, the dinner menu at Turkey Bowl USA is a chapter right unto itself. The pumpkin pie, which is laced with spices, is a homage to the traditional Thanksgiving dessert, but the real star is the ice cream parlor boasting flavors from Michigan's cherry to salted caramel, each made in-house on site with the same love and attention they give their turkey dish. Next up, I've got Everything Turkey, which is located in Detroit, Michigan, which is a twist on a tradition. It really is. Back to Detroit is more than mom's spaghetti, although you can get that sauce in a jar now for home cooking. This is what this looks like. How cool is that? I haven't tried it. If you've tried it, leave a comment below. I'm hoping it's good. I'm a little afraid that it sucks, but I'm hoping it's good, right? Everything Turkey Detroit is a super creative spin on a traditional Thanksgiving meal, including adding kind of a soul food spin, not unlike uh, like a Savannah Blue, which is one of my favorite spots over on Cadillac here in Detroit. You gotta scope that place out too. Add that to the list of places you got to get to. So some of the menu highlights are the boneless turkey bites, which is seasoned and fried to a crisp. It's an innovative reimagining of like boneless chicken, but using turkey instead. My go-to are the turkey chops and everyone else's. It's the most ordered thing on the menu. It can be done Cajun, grilled, barbecue, or smothered with garlic parmesan. I've tried the Cajun. I've tried the barbecue. My next up is going to be the garlic parmesan because like, I love garlic parmesan, but I also don't want to, you know, add the extra calories to it because, you know, it's running season still. Now the turkey meatloaf is excellent and can be topped with a gravy or a barbecue barbecue sauce and back to mom's spaghetti the turkey spaghetti is like a traditional bolognese meat sauce but with turkey instead of meat this fast casual spot is all about the vibes it's modern yet soulful interior is filled with the buzz of conversation and aromas and spices it's a place where each visit is a very festive occasion everything turkey detroit isn't just about the food as well it's about the culture and the community this place stands as a place of gathering in the community where families and friends can come and enjoy not just a meal but like a shared experience and there are a lot of people that come day in and day out next up we've got the turkey Turkey Grill. And this place is right on Woodward Avenue. The Turkey Grill is a testament to Detroit's love affair with Thanksgiving traditions. And I've ordered takeaway here a couple of times during Thanksgiving. So my Thanksgiving tradition usually goes a little bit like this. So I'm going to get downtown like super early. I'm going to do the jerky trot, both the drumstick double, which is the 10K and the 5K. I know I'm that guy. I'm crazy like that. I get up at Thanksgiving and I go around in the cold, right? Downtown Detroit. Then I'm going to go get a coffee, grab some breakfast. I'm going to watch the parade and I'm going to go straight north up Woodward past the DIA to the Turkey Grill. Now these guys have been open since 1990. And as it says on the website, if Detroit keeps coming, they're going to keep cooking. So turkey here they brought to an art form is not our whole meal at the Perna household, but there's a lot that adds to our home cooked 27 course meal and watching the lions. So here's what I usually get. The menu is crown jewel, which are the turkey wing bites, Cajun flavored specifically. I usually get a Mexican turkey pita twist just because I really like those. And I also get like a whole vat of the turkey chili, which is delightful. I get some country fried corn and the bread pudding. I get like four orders of the bread pudding and the wood smoked Cornish hen. So it's got a vibrant interior where local art adores the walls. There's an urban pulse to it of Detroit, which is as palpable inside as it is on the bustling avenue out front. So last but not least is the turkey roost in Cup Collins. So this one is like a true slice of Americana. Like I hate using that word, but I gotta use it for this one. The turkey roost has been alive and going since 1955 and is known to the locals as the pink place because of how pink the building is. So here's how I found it. So there are two kinds of up north Michiganders. Most of us raise up north like as fast 
fast as we can with as few stops as possible. And then there are a couple of us that kind of meander and explore and kind of make even the drive the experience. And that's me. And it always does. Heck out of like everybody. Like anybody that ever drives with me up north after the first time, they're usually like, nope, I want to go separate. It's like an eight hour trip. So every year I go up north either to like Travers or Mackinac or it's more specifically Gaylord in the winter is some mobile, but more like a Travers and a Mackinac for like the wineries and things like that. I usually stop in or around Frankenmuth, namely for like Zenders or the Bavarian Inn's Chicken. I mean, little known fact about that. Those two places alone serve over 850 tons of chicken a year. Get the chicken. It's really good. But I was looking for something a little different. So I was stopping for a gas a little ways up, about 40 minutes out, and I heard somebody at the gas station tell somebody else that he had just come from the pink place and had a turkey plate and homemade cherry pie. I had no idea what this guy was talking about. I was totally intrigued when, it, when he said like pink place and turkey and cherry pie. So I walked over, talked to the guy, and then I found it. I found myself in Kalkowlin, Michigan. So here's the feast. It's open early for the breakfast goers, but the real reason I stop in is the traditional turkey plate meal that brings in Thanksgiving like every day, 365. It has dark meat and white meat, mashed potatoes, gravy, fresh vegetables, cranberry sauce, coleslaw, and buttermilk biscuits. I mean, these are the thing every day. Now do yourself a favor, getting a hot turkey sandwich to go. And they also have homemade pies, but don't sleep on the strawberry sundae. It's fantastic. Aft any local within like a 30 minute radius. They love it. So the love for the turkey roost is multi-generational. This is a place where grandparents have brought their grandchildren, sharing meals and stories under like the warm glow of, of course, terrible 1970s neon lighting. But you know what? We love it. Last up, I I've got the Gapplers of Waters, Northern Michigan's nostalgic place over in Waters, which I'm not even kidding. I can't make this up. It's in Waters, Michigan. That's a real town. It's right here on the map. Check it out. So same story on this one, but this time just a bit south of Gaylord and a great fight. Now it's away from the hustle and bustle in Marlette slash Waters where the total population is 1,848 people. To put that in perspective, that's actually less people than Canton High School with 1,950 kids. So this place was a McDonald's that closed in 2004 and opened up as Gobblers of Waters in 2013 by the B. Red and Walt family. So it's not a big place, being as it was a former McDonald's, but they do Thanksgiving year round and they do it right. Now scope out this review by Steve K. from Yelp from Girls Point. He's definitely just a little bit excited about this place and frankly, he's right to be. So what are you going to get? Get the Gobblers Grand Sandwich, which is an assembly of turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce. And this is a year round Thanksgiving on prep. The Wild Turkey Burger is like a real clever play of flavors incorporating like wild mushrooms and just a little bit of sage. If you like sage, you may not like this one. I like sage, so I get it. It has panoramic windows offering views of northern Michigan and frankly, the woods because they're all 1,858 people there or whatever that is. It's like culinary delight meets the tranquility of nature. So these are the five turkey center cabins scattered like hidden treasures across the state of Michigan. Each offers a slice of home, a dash of innovation, and a really large portion of turkey. For Michiganders and visitors, these establishments are way more just places to eat. They're also chapters in the state's rich culinary story where Thanksgiving never ends and every meal feels like a celebration of gratitude. My name is Mike Perna. Thanks for coming on this journey with me for seeing the five Thanksgiving places that you can go to year round here in Michigan. Not just Southeast Michigan, but Michigan. Don't forget to subscribe because we drop new videos each and every week. And if you're looking for a home, I'd be honored to get the call to help you and your family find your next home here in Metro Detroit. Thank you again and make it a great day.